Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Oni de Guzman and our topic for today is actual time and approximate time for business mathematics. If problems do not state the term in days, months, or years, then give the loan date and the maturity date. We can use either actual time or approximate time. Approximate time is like ordinary interest, assumes that each of the 12 months in a year has 30 days, 360 days in a year. On the other hand, actual time counts the exact number of days. Hence, a year is taken as composed of 365 days. In as much as each of 12 months do not equally have 30 days, actual time is longer than approximate time. So for the months with 30 days, we can have April, June, September, and November, while months with 31 days are the following. So we have January, March, May, July, August, October, and December. Meanwhile, February has 28 days in ordinary years and 29 days during leap year. Let's consider problem number one. Find the actual time and approximate time between April 22 and August 25. So what we're going to do is we will have our the actual time. So that is April has 30 days minus 22 days. So we have only 8 days in April. Then we will add May. 31, June 30, July 31, August 25. So we have 125 days all in all for actual time. On the other hand, if we have approximate time, so the days from August 25, so we have 25 days minus 22 of April 22. So we have three days only. Next, let's compute for the months. So eight month that is august minus the fourth month which is april so we have four months so four months times 30 days per month so we have 120 days however we will add three days and 120 so we will have 120 days plus three days so we have 123 days Truly, we can say that the actual time is longer than the approximate time. Let's have our example number two. So find the actual time and the approximate time between March 15 and November 6. So for our actual time, so we have 31 days for March, but we will subtract 15. So we have actually 16 days only for the month of March. Next, we have April 30, May we have 31, June 30, July 31, as well as August 31. Then we have September 30, and finally October 31. So, and we have also 6 days in November. To add all of this, we have 236 days. On the other hand, if we will compute for the approximate time, so we will use some regroupings here so say for instance november 6 and march 15 i cannot subtract okay 15 from 6 so what i'm going to do is simply regroup november so november has 30 days so plus 6 i have now 36 right then i can subtract 15 so i have now 21 days now take note that i already regrouped november so instead of 11th month now so i will rename that one as the 10th month because i already regrouped this prior to our number of days above so i have now here 10 minus 3 so i have only seven months by the way i have three because march is the third month of the year so since i have seven months then multiply it to 30 days so we have 210 days take note that there are 30 days per month so i have 210 
days for 7 months and add 21 days here. So I have here 231 days. Take note that the actual time is greater than the approximate. Let's have another example. Find the actual time and the approximate time between October 17, 2015 and March 2, 2019. Notice that we have already days, months, and year. So for our actual time in October, we have 31 days as of 2015. Next one, we have also subtract 17 from 31 so we have only 41 uh, 14 days in october then we have november 30 december 31 so we have 71 days in 2015 then we have 365 in 2016 365 in 2017 2018 we have 365 while for january of 2019, we have 31, February 28, March 2, so on all of them, we have 1,231 days. For our approximate time, again, we will cut it, this one into year, month, and days. For the year, we have 2019, however, we need to regroup this in order to, uh, to use this one later on. So 2018 minus 2015, we have three years. This is what I mentioned class. So we have here, I cannot deduct here three, okay, by 10. So therefore, I regroup one year. So it means that instead of 2019, I'll make this one as 2018. And that one year is equal to 12 months. So I add this to 12 months. So therefore, I have now 2 plus 12 is equal to 14 months. I can deduct now 10 months from 14. So I have 4 months. Moving on to the number of days. Take note that I cannot subtract 17 from okay, 2. So what I'm going to do is I'll regroup okay, 1 month here. So since I regroup 1 month here, so instead of four months i regroup that one as three months and 30 days so add so two plus 30 is equal to 32 days so i have 15 days now take note that for number of years i have 360 approximately per year so it means that i have 1080 days on the other hand i have four months times 30 days approximately per month so i have 120 days so if i will add all of this 1080 120 and 15 days so i have 1080 plus 120 plus 15 is equal to 1215 days take note again that the actual time is longer than the approximate so that ends our discussion on actual time and approximate time. Again, this is Teacher Onan Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.